Okay, yesterday I posted the video about the chicken wire rack. I did a destructive test to see how chicken wire would hold up. The physical concept is to try to see if you can make a rack with some material that's relatively transparent to that pressure blast so that the rack stays intact instead of blowing a shit. So yesterday I used that old rusty chicken wire. Uh, you remember it had a free edge along the bottoms and that free edge popped off of both sides. You also remember that on one side we blew a hole through the wire. It was old rusty wire. But anyway, I've, I'm using fresh hardware cloth today, not old and rusty. And I changed the construction concept a bit. I brought the cloth down, wrapped it around the bottom, and then up the other side. So there, we don't have a free edge here. It's a continuous one-piece mesh, you know, wrapping all the way around the bottom of the, the bottom rail there. So uh, we'll take this out a little bit later and do an upside-down X-Cal shell. To see how this thing holds together. Okay, here's the hardware cloth rack ready for its destruction test. Same as yesterday, I've got the uh, X-Cal in there upside down with a talon clip. This, uh, as I showed on the first part of the vid, the hardware cloth goes all the way around underneath and up the other side. On this test, I'm going to put a couple of pieces of plywood on either side of this rack. Not hard up against it, but about a foot away, just to catch any stars that might come flying out. It's a lot drier today with a a dry north wind. I don't want to have to fool around with too many fires. All right, I'm going to call this very successful. Obviously, the the wire gave way there. There's a hole and that top rail got knocked off but the wire up above is completely intact and I didn't really have that top rail on there for any structural purpose. It was just to hold the tubes a little more securely than the, than the plain wire. But you can see every one of those tubes is pointing straight up in the air. And that looks like that hardware cloth is stuck to the bottom. It didn't flip off the bottom rail it just gave way right adjacent to the tube that exploded and kept all the tubes completely intact. I think this is just spectacular. So, no damage on this side. And I noticed yesterday that hole that blew out of the chicken wire, you know, it blew out where it, on the same side as the tube blew out, and that happened here today. I don't know if you can see it very well, but that uh, that tube is blown out right adjacent to that hole in the wire. But look at that. Completely intact. If it, I think if you had that rack chain fused, every show would go up no trouble. Alright, let's get a better look at this. There's where the tube blew out, and there's actually the shell right there. The wire gave way completely intact along the bottom here. Unlike in the chicken wire where the free edge flipped off, this is completely attached all the way around. No staples blew out. Just a little bit of wire right here adjacent to the tube blowout. Top rail popped off. As like I said, I'm not too concerned about that. That was just there to keep the tubes in position this way. It wasn't really there for any structural purpose. Rocky, go on, take off. Alright, there's the other side. Completely intact. It's got a little bulge in it, but that's all. And the wire wrapping all the way around underneath. I think that's really what held it all together. This is exactly how I picked it up out in the field. So you can see all the tubes are pointing straight up. I'd say that's a pretty good rack design. It's a minor pain in the ass to deal with this hardware cloth. You know, when you cut it with the Tim snips, you get these little sharp points here you have to deal with. 
and when you get it in a roll it's coiled up real tight you've got to dick around with it to straighten it out and flatten it out make it a little easier to work with but those are minor inconveniences I think that's a really good deal I don't know if anybody wants to do it or not but I, I think I'm gonna make a few more of these